Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> guys, guys, there's a brand new Snapchat update, and this is gonna be crazy. Hey, what is going on everybody? Aaron here from Break the Internet. Welcome back to another Snapchat video today on the channel, guys. As you can tell, I'm super pumped, super excited because 10 minutes ago, Snapchat version 9.27.0 was just released and just looking at it, a bunch of amazing new features, chat 2.0, and just when you thought Snapchat couldn't get any better, it does. I'm so excited, I don't even know what to do with my hands. Anyway guys, we're gonna get right on into this. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Alright guys, so moving on over to the phone section of today's video, as you can see there's two phones on screen and that's because the most of the update has to do with the brand new chat feature in Snapchat. So one is going to be on my second account, this one right here is on my second account, break the net snap, and on the right side is going to be my main account at AaronFPS. So if anything gets confusing and you have any questions for me whatsoever, please comment them down below or also send them to me on Snapchat by using the code on screen or also with the name AaronFPS. So let's get right into it. So over on the right side, we're just gonna take a look at the new chat. Um, if you wanna contact anybody, whoever you're gonna wanna contact, you can either put in their name or go over to the screen that's like this. Um, but I'm gonna go over to the break the net, which is, like I said, over on this side and I'm gonna go to the chat. So going on here, we're gonna look at five pretty sweet buttons, and of course, some of them are new, some of them aren't, and we're gonna go through each of those. So the first one here is the gallery button, so you can see and send anything that's in your camera roll to your friend by either clicking it and clicking send, or also going over to the edit button and then adding like any of the good old fashioned um, editing tools on that picture. Also over here on the right is the new stickers that you can add and send to your person or to your friend that you're talking to. So we have Ghost World, we have Me and Bay, we have a Foodie, all these different things that could you could put for anything that you're feeling, I don't know, feeling happy, sad, whatever. You can send those to your friend just like that by clicking on them, easy as that. Now in the old versions of Snapchat, to know that someone was in the chat at the same time, there used to be a little yellow button down here that would turn blue if the person was in the chat with you. So for example, if I was to swipe right on here, you're going to get a little happy face and then it turns into a blue dot and the blue dot will stay there as long as the person is in the chat with you. So once I swipe over once again, you can see that it's gone and obviously I'm no longer in the chat. So now looking at these brand new two buttons here. First of all, the phone is going to be for voice messages and for sending a voice call and actually talking to someone like you would on the phone. So if I was to click that, it will say I'm ringing them in green and over here I'll get a notification from Aaron FPS is calling me and all you have to do is click it. A menu will pop up where you can either ignore, join or listen. So if I click join, it's just like a speaker message call and both of them will be green and you can actually hold it up to your ear and I'm just gonna cover the sensors to show that that's pretty much gonna be like a good old fashioned phone call and that's, it'll go black and just go through the speaker, the top speaker, if you put your ear up to it and then if you take it off, it'll go back to the regular way. So another option that you saw once I did the phone call, you can see you can just listen. So if I was to click listen, you'll get a notification over here that says that person is just listening and I'll be talking and they'll be listening, but if they say anything, they I won't be heard on this side. And to fix that and to actually talk back to the person, you just click the phone once again and you're now talking. So instead of actually voice calling that person, you just wanna send something to say to them, all you have to do is hold down on the phone and you can send a voice message this way and if, when you wanna send it, you just let go of your finger and it'll send and over here to play it, just click it and you can listen to that person's voice message. So when you're doing it like this and you just wanna delete it, swipe your finger over to X and it deletes it so in case you mess up, you say something wrong, whatever, you can just delete that voice message and it goes away. And the same thing is gonna happen with this camera button. So you're gonna be able to either live chat that person, kinda of like FaceTime, or you can also just send a video message. So what you're gonna do here is if I click that, of course it's gonna say ringing and I get a little preview to show exactly what I look like. And over here, I'm going to get calling with a little camera and I click that and once again, I can either join the call or just watch what the person is doing. So I'm gonna click join and we might get a little bit of feedback and right here you can see it's just like a call on FaceTime. So what we're gonna do here is, again, you saw another little option that is gonna allow you to call a person and they can just watch. So your camera won't be on, like this camera won't turn on, but I can just watch the person that's on this screen. So when I click this, I can full screen and see exactly what that person is doing. And over here, you can see that there's just a watching button and you can see that that person is just watching what you're doing. And to fix that once again, click the camera and it'll bring in the regular FaceTime once again. And then finally, to send a video message to somebody and not like this, because this is a regular video message where you can send it like that, 
but to send a couple at a time, what you can do here is hold down and you get a little preview and be like, hey, what's up? How are you doing today? Blah, blah, blah. Let go and send. And then the same thing, you just, hey, what's up? This is another message, whatever. And it'll put it right next to that one. So you can send maybe a little story to someone. So to make sure they get it and they get it like right back, right back to back. You can go ahead and send a couple like that. And over here, when you receive them, you can click them and it'll go ahead and put the sound on. And you can see these little no sound buttons and it plays them in a sequence when they're done. And you can go through there just like that and make sure, like I said, they get all of those videos at one time. And as far as the new features on here, that's pretty much it. Being able to send voice messages, being able to FaceTime someone, and the brand new voice calls and voice messages, which is pretty pretty much gonna make WhatsApp and all those other me messaging apps obsolete. Facebook, all that good stuff, everything can be done within Snapchat. So going on to the last feature um, within the new Snapchat update is going to be how you watch the different stories. So we can turn that one off over here. And what's gonna happen is what you used to have to do is click the person and actually go through each of these people and find out the person that you want to. But now all you have to do is let's say I wanted to watch Fanzo. To go to the next person, all I do is swipe. So up to the left, you can see now it's CNBC and Taylor Nikolai, Shorty Awards, all these different people I can just swipe through. And to watch that specific person's story, like if I wanna watch producer KCM's story, I just tap through. And once it gets to the end, which he has a lot of snaps today, but once I get to the end of his story, it'll automatically switch to the next person. So instead of actually having to go through each person back to back to back, you can just swipe and just keep tapping on the person. Everyone has really long stories today. Anyway, that's pretty much it about the new update. All right guys, just kidding. Another cool feature in the new Snapchat update is the new text and different things you can do to it. So as I click that, you can see now it comes with bold, italic, and, and underline, which you didn't used to be able to do. And so you can say, hi, my name is Aaron. And you want to really put emphasis on the word Aaron. I'll just click the word Aaron. I can click italic and bold and underline. And I send that over. And you can see that it's something that I really want that person to look at. Also, if you're sending a link to a person, let's just see, put HTTP and I click send. Instead of just the link coming up, it's now going to come with a little thumbnail that the person can click and it's gonna bring them right to that website or to that whatever link you're sending them to. Also, we'll try to do something with like, I can send it to that person and it'll bring up the little Twitter icon and it gives you a little bit of a preview of what my banner looks like on Twitter. So you can do that and let's just say I click that, it'll bring me over to Twitter on the uh, website and I can go ahead and follow myself, but that's kind of weird, I'm not gonna do that. So anyway, guys, that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. I know it might be a little bit confusing, but please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below or on my Snapchat or even on my Twitter. Both of those are at AaronFPS. I'll also be doing a Periscope live stream, a little bit explaining all these features as well if you want to watch that, and that is AaronFPS too. So everything is the same and it should be really easy to find me. Anyway, guys, have a great day. My name is Aaron from Break the Internet, your number one stop shop for everything you need to know about Snapchat, tips, tricks, amazing updates, and much, much more. Anyway, guys, like I said, have an amazing day, and we'll see you next time.